Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. As you can see, I've got a beauty in front of me here. Um, this is the uh, Brett Moffat Midnight Moon. Uh, it's Moonshine. Um, Bristol Race Win. Uh, this is a, uh, a scheme that they ran for all the GMS. I shouldn't say all. They ran for two of the GMS cars. Uh, Gallagher, not Gallagher. Nemechek in the uh, Xfinity Series, and then Moffat ran this in the truck race, uh, and then he won that race at Bristol. So uh, I went to two truck races last year. No, three. Three truck races last year, and I got to see Moffat win two and Chastain win one. So kind of fun um, to get to see that. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead, and we'll take a look at the die cast and the box. So this is how I um, display all of my race wins that I've seen in person is in a case like this. Um, these cases are available at Hobby Lobby and places like that. So uh, it's got everything in it. Um, as you can see, I'll move some of this stuff to the side, but as you can see inside, I've got, um, I'll go ahead and pop the cover here. I do have the, um, there we go. Okay. So it does pop open. It is sealed real nice. Um, as you can see, all the cards kind of fall down. That's normal uh, when you don't have a back to it. So, um, and then there's that here. So uh, I did get the autographed edition. Um, got a blue sticker there. I've got uh, Brett Moffitt, uh, the UNO, you know, or University of Northern Ohio. I think is it Northern Ohio? I think it is. Um, and then the uh, Certificate of Authenticity for the Autograph Edition. So, um, and there goes the box. Uh, yeah, so I got the Autograph Edition. Uh, I normally like to get my race wins signed in person, but I already have enough Brett Moffitts to want to get signed, including his Iowa win from last year, that I figure it'll be easier to just not have to get quite as many signed. Because frankly, there comes a point where I I've seen Brett Moffitt now win four times. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, am I really going to need him to get, to get four autographs? You know, like one of them's plenty for me. So the rest of them, if I get them that way, that's fine too. Um, obviously you can probably notice there's some stuff on my, on my case. So these are a little bit of my, um, my Bristol souvenirs, I, sh I guess. So after the race, they let you walk down on the track and see stuff. So when I was down there, um, these were the little rubber chunks that were uh, that were on the racetrack. Let's see if I can get a uh, nice. There's a big, bigger chunk here. I'm trying to focus on it. There we go. So these are these were hot rubber chunks that were just stuck down to the track, almost like uh, like a like, you know, like uh, like I don't want to say tar. It's almost like gum. I mean, it was it was stuck. Like you didn't just it didn't kick and then just roll. You had to kind of pull it off and it would kind of just you know unstick itself but yeah these this is a rubber chunk uh that's all i mean this is all from from tires this is all tire wear and rubber chunks but anyway i just picked up a little bit and put it in a little um a little baggy type thing um while i was on the track there uh because i did want to add it to this case i think it's kind of neat to have um tire wear off the track because uh, obviously Iowa Speedway doesn't wear that much like that. So anyway, I put that in front of it. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll take one quick look at the box. Um, let's see here. My focus is having some trouble. There we go. So there's the Gander Outdoors Truck Series box. Render the car there. Got the blue windshield banner on that as well. Uh, one of 108 autographed uh, trucks. And that's pretty much all there is to see there. I really don't have much else to show. So... We're going to go ahead and roll on to the die cast. So this die cast, um, like I said, to me is one of my favorite Brett Moffat schemes. I, don't, I think it's just a color scheme. Obviously getting to see him win and it helps. Um, but between this one and his Chicago win, there's something about that Chicago win that looks nice. A all white truck with some marks to it. But... Anyway, down on our left side here, we've got round of eight, Gander Outdoors Truck Series Playoffs. We've got number 24. we got, oh, man. Got to give it a chance to refocus. got Midnight Moon down there. We've got Busted, um, we got GMS, and a whole bunch of sponsors on the corner panel. we got Brett Moffat up there on the name rail. Two winner stickers is there as well. We go to the very, very front of the truck. You can see we got the blue splitter down there. we got the carbon fiber, actually. So we get carbon fiber on the splitter down there. Then you get uh, the blue playoff marking on the splitter on the other part or the upper part, and then you get Silverado and start getting some rubber particles. And obviously the grill's got a little ding in it from the, all the bumping that happens at Bristol. 
And I want to say this was Junior Johnson. I think that's what it was. I think this was Junior Johnson's smug shot. Right up there on the hood there. So that's Midnight Moonshine. And then I think that's supposed to be Junior. I think that is Junior Johnson's mugshot. Uh, as you can see, the rubber down these, down the front picture there. And on each side, you got some some of the rubber particles. Good looking signature with the blue windshield banner on the windshield as well. Um, you know, good quality looking signature. There you can see the number 24. Um, yep, yep, let's see here. Junior's arrest. So yep, Junior Johnson um, busted to get the Midnight Moon app and hear about Junior's arrest story there. Uh, up here on there, you, this is the post. Uh, we got two of those there. You can see they're kind of dirty and rubbered up. Um, so that's kind of neat. This is the first time I think I've seen these posts rubbered up and, and beat up. Usually they're they're not messed with too much. Um, as you see on the back here, we do have a little bit of uh, dirt and stuff, but really not too bad. Down the right side, you can see we do have some rubber particles down the whole, the whole right side. Midnight moon uh, around there as well. And then the right front corner a little bit is probably the most rubbered up part of the truck. So um, for a Bristol win, it's pretty um, it's pretty tame. Just some rubber stuff around it. You know, kept it pretty clean. Kept it out front. Um, it was a really fun race. Uh, Chastain, excuse me, Chastain got shuffled to the back and was really driving to the front hard towards the end of the race. Um, I really didn't want Moffat to fall back in traffic um, just because I was seeing how they were racing back there and it was just a crapshoot. Um, you know, they were just beating on each other. And the same thing as Martinsville this year, if, if anyone was at the truck race in the fall, uh, Moffat had a dominant truck. And then the minute he got back in traffic, just got pinballed around until the truck fell apart. So um, just kind of one of those deals that in the truck series, you can bet the short track racing gets really, really intense, especially when it's playoffs, you know. So I'm really glad he was able to stay out front and keep it clean. But um, anyway... Um, he, he and Chastain definitely had the best trucks of the night. I think Chastain might have had a better truck than him, but he was able to keep it clean and, and get the win. So, um, there we go. 103 is my din. So 103 and 108. But again, overall, I just think this is a great looking die cast. I think the paint scheme is awesome. Uh, getting some race detail on it definitely doesn't hurt at all. There we go. Um, so... It's definitely uh, one of my favorites. Obviously, getting to see my driver win is always nice, but then also uh, at Bristol, which was really cool. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get my other uh, my Hamlins um, customized soon, so I'll have a Kansas version and a uh, Bristol version to go along with these, but those will be coming along in the near future. So let me know your thoughts on this uh, die cast, if you picked it up, and um, what other truck wins you've got coming from this year. Um, I think I have all of them, all the truck wins from this year, so far, um, I think I got, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got them all, so I don't think there's any of them that I'm missing at this point, um, so I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure the only ones coming out now are Ross Chastain and Spencer Boyd, so, uh, I think I'll have all the truck race wins from this year, and we'll see if I keep them all, I really want to, but at the end of the day, I know for a fact I keep the Moffats, and, um, that's about it, really, for the truck series at this point, I, um, but, Again, let me know your thoughts on that one. Um, I think they should offer every truck win, at least pull it and then see from there, but that's just my opinion. So, um, Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're getting real, really close to uh, 1,000 subscribers at the time of recording, so that's really, really cool. Uh, the Clash is tomorrow, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, shouldn't be a stupid aero package like last year where it's a single file line the whole time. So I uh, can't wait. I'm really excited to, to see what the race brings tomorrow, and hopefully they put on a good show. But NASCAR season's back. Um, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.